Yo, 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 what's going down? Oof, what a day, what a day. Um, I seen these, uh, seen these eggs were pipping last night, but I knew I had a, a short day today at work. So I, I waited to cut them today, but uh, a couple blocks before my first job, I got uh, my engine blew on my truck. And so, yeah, short day turned into a long day. So we're in the wee hours of the night like usual. Um, but um, this is uh, Clutch 5. So it's shoot, today's, I guess technically July 11th. Because it's like 1 in the morning. But we're rocking uh, Clutch 5 egg cutting. Two pippers now. One's got his head out. I want to get them swapped in another tub. Um, I got some more clutches probably coming soon. So I just want to free up my tub so I can clean them up and, and be ready for the next one when it drops but um this is a marble yellow belly girl to uh my mojave black pastel uh orange ghost male and uh he sired a clutch two clutches last year and uh hopefully another one this year but um basically just trying to get the marble with the black pastel and then um you know I'm hoping to get um, a male, you know, everything's gonna be 100% head. Orange ghost, so uh, hoping to get a male, you know, to keep back to breed, you know, next year, you know, and obviously I'll probably keep the females too. Um, but we started with so she laid four eggs in a slug, and then um, about two or maybe three weeks ago, one of the eggs went bad, so we're working with three eggs, so you know not not fabulous there but hopefully we hit something to just keep it pushing forward you know what i mean um so i'm working with the selfie stick again tonight my tr i got a new phone finally so you know i can do more videos again since my screen was cracked for those of y'all who like see more of my stuff than just this video uh you know my phone screen and camera's been cracked for months um i got a new phone but the big heavy case it's in i can't balance this tripod the way it is all busted so uh, we're rocking selfie stick mode, but, um, so yeah, so I'm not going to show the parents on this one, but you know, I got videos with them. Um, uh, especially, I think I put them in the egg pulling video. So anyway, it's late. I'm tired. Uh, let me get this on the tripod. I can, I think I can rig it up for, uh, for the egg cutting real quick. And then, uh, you know, let's see if we can see much, you know, it's not going to be anything visual, just working hats. You know, so it's not gonna be super exciting. Three eggs, but bust through it real quick. And then um, <clears throat> clutch six was supposed to be cut tomorrow, and that is uh, that was that weird albino situation where you know I saw Avi like Novemberish and she pre laid and then like she didn't lay, didn't lay, and then finally she laid like April, May or whatever it was. Um, and a bunch of the eggs were real weird. They were the, they weren't the same leathery as usual, and the sack was real loose and weak veins. Anyways, uh, that was the one where part of the video got deleted when I was trying to free up space to post the video. Anyway, so long story short, all the eggs went bad. Um, three went bad in like the first two days, and then um, two the two that looked okay. Um, they lasted the longest, but the last one that I had, I threw away like five or six days ago, maybe a week ago. It just, you know, there was nothing going on in there. I tried to hold out on it, but so that's a bummer because uh, <clears throat> potentially the sire to that one might have been the uh, lightning pied male that we lost. So that situation sucked, but uh, the good thing about this hobby is after days like today, you know, all day I kept thinking was like, man, I got pippers. I'm going home and cutting some eggs. I don't care how brutal this day is. You know what I mean? So that's a bonus. But uh, yeah, hopefully we hit some Marvel black pastels and, you know, hopefully it's a male so we can uh, keep it pushing and get some visual, you know, Marvel orange ghosts, you know, in the next season or two. So let me get this set up, see what's up. All right, y'all. So here it is. Marble Yellow Belly to Mojave Black Pastel Orange Ghost. See what we're getting into.
This one actually is the one that pipped uh, yesterday, but so dude, I guess it's coming out first. Oh, little buddy. Let's see if I can. There you go. Get you in there. These are much better than the uh, Clutch 4, man. Clutch 4 was gooey. Gooey, gooey. Not a great clutch. That's for sure. This is how I prefer it. Sorry, man. I'm probably out of focus. Long day. <laughs> Long day. I'm not going to try to ID a whole ton because I haven't seen Marvel in Blackness still. Um, you know, I've seen it in Mojave. There's a decent amount of it on Morph Market. Um, you know, but I don't know. I'm just stoked to uh, at least get a few hats rolling. Be more exciting when I can find out, you know. What sex odds I'm working with here with these little three eggs. Oh. <laughs> this dude's got like no yolk in here. It's a big freaking snake. Definitely looks like. Maybe some black pastel Mojave going on. I don't know. Gosh, that dude is freaking hogging that little freaking fruit fly. God, I hate those things. Yeah, that dude's freaking. He's hogging that egg up. And there ain't a drop in there. What a freaking beast. He's chunky. I mean, compared to that one. <laughs> oh, dude. Last one. Like I said, this ain't the most exciting. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that my recessive girls start getting it going, you know? I still have a bunch of them that I haven't laid. That I laid last year, and who knows? Maybe they're taking the season off. Um, but let's see here. But I've got a, uh, I've got some of a bunch of visual stuff I'm hoping to hit. So it's cool working with the hit stuff. But oh, that's something different. I don't really see any side gut stuff going on at all. So I don't really know what's going on with that one. But you know me. I definitely am not a genetic IDing wizard by any means. It is something I'm constantly trying to get better at and struggling. I do best learning. Like, I watch a ton of videos. I mean, a ton. But I learn best by hatching clutches and just observing my collection and checking out the subtle, subtle differences, you know. <clears throat> I mean, this one's... Got the same coloration as this one, but I'm going to put some water maybe in this dude's egg because he's looking dry in there. But uh, this one, man, it's got like no pattern on the side. So we'll see. We'll see when they come out. But anyway, we get them in this other little tub. I like these smaller tubs. Once I cut and... The water's been working great, you know. There's, I use distilled water, but I don't trust city water. It's got too much bull crap in it. But uh, I've just been doing these cups like I've seen American-made exotics do. And man, my humidity and everything's been so easy to maintain. Um, I love incubating this way. I'll never do vermiculite again. I think I have one clutch that has vermiculite in it right now. And I'm considering even tonight just... Uh, swapping it and and making a fresh tub with this one and just doing water because it works a lot better but uh 
anyways like i said pretty short we got a couple funky different things um maybe this one's just a normal hat i don't know might be a marvel we'll see but uh yeah i'll have some update videos coming soon and uh i hope everybody's season's going good and uh you know you're hitting some goals and moving forward uh, appreciate your time and uh much love man catch you on the next one peace